metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code, pink code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code. Hey, time to get up! <gasps> this week is Be Good to the Earth Week! Say, Wally, mm -hmm. what happened here last night? Looks like he wrote poetry all night. You can't write poems in the dark, so what'd you use for light? Mm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Ay, 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 ay. This is not good. Though it's wonderful that you're being creative in writing poetry, that kind of light bulb is not. It's easy to see that your light bulb is old-fashioned. There are lots of better ways to write at night that won't leave you in the dark. Once upon a time, we learned how to escape from total darkness at night by harnessing fire. And inventing candles made it even easier. They didn't last long, but at least we could write when it was dark. Candles were eventually replaced by light bulbs, and things were great for hundreds of years. Uh, well, sort of. See, these bulbs are called incandescent bulbs, and they work by sending a current through a coil called a filament. This can use up a lot of electricity and really heat things up. Yesterday's technology, say good night. But don't worry, Wally. With modern light bulbs, you can get right back to writing all night and even use up less energy. One of the reasons the old-fashioned light bulbs are so wasteful is that they just don't last very long. They use up a lot of electricity, and once they break, you're back in the dark. Luckily, now there are LED lights. These guys use less electricity and produce 40% more light. This helps the planet by making less waste, plus they're extra durable, too. Thanks for your help, Wally. Changing light bulbs may seem like a small thing, but every bit helps the Earth. Bravo! <laughs> <laughs> Our work here is done. Next, Rosa's house. Oh, Rosa. What are we going to do with you? Did you have any idea that a leaky faucet leads to 8,000 liters of water waste in a year? Wasted! One liter is a small bottle, and 8,000 of those? Well, that's a lot of water. Please don't cry, my friend. You'll waste even more water. We're here to fix your sink and help the Earth. I don't mean to be rude, but wasting water is... Ugh, now what's going on? Oh, no. This is terrible. It's worse than terrible. It's just crazy. No, that's nothing. This is crazy. Stop. <laughs> Hold it. Well, well, well. Out for a drive, eh? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Seeing how fast it can go. Do you know how much fuel you're using? Probably a lot. <laughs> Don't you care about pollution at all? What, the smoke? <laughs> oh. What's the big deal? Let's see. <laughs> Oh, man! <laughs> Guess it is a lot! <laughs> yes, that's right, Crash. It is a lot of exhaust. Don't you realize that this car is dangerous to the environment? It seems you need to learn about emissions. Automobiles use fossil fuels in order to move, and the Earth only has a limited amount. So someday, we'll run out. Cars like this can really hurt the environment. So until we have more eco-friendly models, we should really limit their use. Instead, we can use more public transportation, walking, and even bicycles to get around. They're eco-friendly and a lot of fun. Well, I never even considered all that. I guess I forgot about nature. Listen, guys, I 
I like the environment and all, but look how sweet this ride is, right? But this is a gas-guzzling monster crash. You have to listen. You can't just drive it for no reason. I do. I do have a reason. It's fun. It is, right, Chico? Mm -mm. Suit yourself. <laughs> Well, that's just great. Crash is a walking eco-catastrophe. Listen, we all breathe the same air, so we're all in this together. But what can we do? We have to stop him from driving. I wish it were that easy. One of the hardest things in the world to do is change someone's mind, and that's exactly what we'd have to do with our friend Crash. If we don't, our air quality will get worse. So then what? We sit back and do nothing? No way are we gonna give up on our planet. Trust me, I've got an idea. need a lot more gas. Sorry, Crash. Looks like you're out of luck. This station has run out of fuel. What do you mean, run out? I mean, that's the last of it. This can is the last of our gasoline, and it's only for emergencies. <sighs> Sorry, but this fuel isn't oh, for you. Oh. Crash, it's time to go home. Okay, I'll drive. Hmm. You mean there's no more gasoline and he's still in his car? Actually, he loves it more than ever. It's clear that Crash needs our help right now, but the environment needs help too. We need some sort of solution that makes everyone happy. I have an idea that might work. Why don't we just rebuild his car to make it more eco-friendly? Or just give him a bike <laughs> instead. We could replace his old engine with an electric one. That way Crash still keeps his car. He stays happy and the rest of us get to breathe air that isn't filled with fumes and smoke. Hold on. What about the noise, huh? An electric engine might just do the trick, Carlin. As time goes by, we'll be seeing fewer of our old combustion engines and more electric cars. Technology just keeps advancing, so our electric cars keep getting better and better. Over time, they'll be able to go farther and faster than we ever imagined. Electric cars don't burn fossil fuels. Plus, they emit less noise and less pollution, meaning cleaner air, quieter roads, and a happier planet for everyone. <laughs> Square root of three plus x squared is, uh, wait. 
What's a coefficient again? Uh, uh, pass oh, me yes. that drive shaft, please. No, no, that goes over there. Oh, it needs more lug nuts. Almost got it. A little tighter. Careful, careful. Nice work, guys. Not just nice, that's great. Good work, everybody. All our hard work has really paid off today. You mean our work? Hold on a sec. The last gas can. I know I left it right here. Crash! This huh? can is the last of our gasoline, mm. and it's only for mm. emergencies. I have a need for speed, and I will drive. Keep looking. We'll find him. Well, he couldn't have gotten that far. You'd think we'd at least hear that noisy engine of his. Hmm, no smoke either. Hmm. Oh, found him. Is he doing something <laughs> stupid? <sighs> Naturally. To it. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's see it in action. All our hard work, of course. Amazing! If we were able to change Crash's mind, think of what else we could do! <laughs> <laughs> 